Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Battlefield uh, 5 video, and uh, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I did a Battlefield video. Um, I kind of went playing other games, and I and uh, I was gonna come back to it, you know. But just to let you guys know, Battlefield is like my main shooter, and, and I am gonna be recording that for the channel. So just letting you guys know that I'm not, I haven't steered away forever. I'm gonna be coming back and forth to the game, but. Uh, I came back because, and um, you know, so I started playing ever since the new patch came in because I heard it's, I heard a lot about the patch, a lot of people right now, a lot of the players of the community are not really liking the patch, uh, patch 5.2 to be exact, and there's a lot of commotion in Twitter, the, the community's not happy about it, and uh, so I just started playing it, and you know, I kind of first get my experience ask around what everyone else thinks and so I kind of pretty much got a pretty good view of what this patch really did and to be honest it did more bad than good so uh, I do want to mention the things I did like and because there, there are a few things I did like about this patch uh, so there are two things I did like about this patch one was uh, they added a nice little sound effects after you get the kill whether it's a headshot or um, just a regular shot um, a regular kill or a kill with a headshot. They they did add a little nice little sound effects at the end. You know, like the ones in Battlefield One, the little bling. So we did get that. So they have implemented that right onto the Battlefield Five, which I like. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and the second thing I, I enjoyed about this patch is that I can now add a bayonet to the M1 Garat. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing else for me to say about this patch that's good besides those two. And they're like very small little adjustments, but I happily enjoy them. But uh, let's talk about what really is storing up commotion in the Battlefield community and also between the developers and the players. First, the spotting changes that they did. And to me, personally, they were unnecessary, I guess you can say. Um, only one of them, I guess, uh, one of them uh, did was like it was going in the right direction, but slightly. It wasn't on point. What I would want, I would like to have it, but it was leaning towards that way. And that was the fact that any enemy players that are in 15 meters of your of your view are now highlighted. You know, like if you mark them, you see a little dot on the head, something like that. So now they're highlighted in red, and but they have to be 15 meters from you. And if you aim uh, an enemy through your um, iron, through your iron sights within 25 meters, it'll do the same thing. The problem I have about this, though, again, it's not really a bad idea, but it's it's not really a good one either. It's just it's a small little thing that it's supposed to minimize the MMGs that are camping, you know, proning, which to me I think is kind of dumb because, I mean, it did minimize them slightly, but if you, like say for example, if you are running around and, and you see and you finally see an MMG that's camping, you know, within like a crevice or in between two boxes or something, most likely he's, he's going to see you and shoot you first before you finally see the little thing come up on its head, so. Not saying it's it's not minimizing it or anything, but I'm just saying probably not that much. The main thing I don't like about this change is the catch that only you have that in your minimap. Your teammates are completely unaware what you're seeing, but you know it's kind of dumb because this is supposed to be like a teamwork thing, you know, spotting, and you know, ironically, how Dice wants to put more teamwork into the game, you know more attrition, you know, all that stuff. Well, I mean, attrition is a whole different thing, but, you know, teamwork, basically what it was. You know, the one I had more teamwork to the game, and how ironically is that this doesn't go to all your teammates, only you're seeing this. So, I kind of find it, you know, good information that can be distributed out to your teammates. Like, you know, back in Battlefield 1, Battlefield 4, and, you know, previous Battlefields, if you would um, mark, spot and mark them as, as you're pointing at them, then that person will be highlighted for a certain amount of time and within any range, any range and you know everyone can see it and to me that's more to me personally that's, that's kind of direction i wish they could bring that back because i find that more useful than this new this new uh change that they did i really find this one kind of it's 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 meh but it's not you know I mean, it's meh. It's it's not. Oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. It's it's meh. 
but but you know like it's, it's going towards more like bad I mean it's not good it's like a little band-aid it's not really we're gonna do much um, I kind of prefer the point and you know point and spot so that to me was better because not only that not only will it help you with people around you it could help you with snipers like say if there's a sniper that I mean this is not gonna do any, do good for you and uh, you know if you would if you, if you if you point to the sniper uh, anyone that's nearby that sniper obviously is gonna take him out or an ally sniper is gonna take it out so I just find them more beneficial this new one is completely unbeneficial just to you and if you get and like say for example say say you're running so you're running with your, your squad right and then three enemy enemy players come out from the left and you know and you see them you're seeing them march so you take one out but the other two take you out now now that you're out that information that you had on your minimap is just done and most likely your teammates are completely unaware that they're there so most likely they're going to get taken out and that has happened to me a few times um during gameplay where i see enemies i take one of them out or two but then i get taken out and there's my buds like completely unaware that there's people there's enemy players nearby and they just they get taken out easy so so yeah i just don't like this new uh system that they put i mean it's useless I mean, it doesn't have a negative effect, but it just doesn't give much of a positive effect. So, the other thing, the new spotting change they did was this new thing where it lets you know that you're being spotted. Whoever came up with that was just a waste of time. I mean, that was a waste of time for even making it or even implementing it to the game. It's, it's useless, you know. I mean, you get spotted by a flare and you says you're spotted. I mean, so what? There's nothing much you can do. It's not going to help you. It's not going to mark enemies for you. If anything, it's gonna make you paranoid, and um, uh, I mean, if anything, it's gonna probably keep you like, you know, um, aware of where the enemy's coming at. But then again, you don't know where the enemy's coming from, so it, it's just dumb. It's just there. The way that you know they, um, if if you're flanking, say you're, say you're trying to go around and get them from behind, say uh, once you get close and to, you know to that meter, and then little icons pop up, then they're gonna be the spotted. So if, if they're looking around to see who's spying them, then you probably you probably wasted 10 minutes every time flanking them. And they got they know the spy, they look and they saw you coming, and you know you just waste your time flanking. So I think it's pretty much dumb, you know, and just useless, man. It's just why? It's just why. I don't, I don't know it's just a, I don't know man I mean there's so many things that dice could you know do better and they, they just wasted their time making this dumb little change all right so let's move on to probably the, the meat and potatoes of what's really going on and what the what the player base is really complaining about and that is the new TTK uh, change that they did even though they said they were they weren't gonna do it again but Yep, they changed it again. So basically, what it was is that the the, the certain range that they're able to uh, get uh, kills. So SMGs, and I kind of agree with this one. SMGs. So now SMGs are now only close quarters. Anything that's far from them, far like far beyond what they're supposed to be able to shoot down, is is, is, is it's, it's very unlikely. So it's more difficult to shoot players from mid range to long range. And you know, I was in the P40, and it got me kills of enemies that are like probably past more than 100 meters, or you know, in between the 75 and 100 meters. So, and like, uh, I'm using SMG, so that's not supposed to happen. Wait, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are how glad that now they're being reduced, and now they're supposed to work the way NMGs are supposed to perform. There were there were some changes to some certain weapons that. Uh, the, the, the community is not really happy about. From what I heard, the FG42 is uh, is pretty much uh, uh, lacking in damage because the way they're doing it is the, they're treating it as an SMG. Like, it's only good for like close quarters. I mean, I mean it, it, it's not going to be better than SMG from, from the, meta, the meta class, but it's only got 20, mat, 20 rounds. And I have used it as the, you know, the footage you guys are watching right now. And every every, every kill, if, I mean, if, if I don't get a headshot in between, I, I'm constantly reloading that mag. And, you know, it, it's just a little, a little hassle, but I mean, why? I, I just don't understand. It's, in a, it's an LMG. It's not an SMG, so... It should be able to get kills in medium range pretty well 
and you know if they're gonna change it they might as well bump up the ammo count but they did it so that's the one thing why a lot of people that favor the FG42 are a little upset so the longer the range the more shots required SMGs completely loose use of the long range obviously Assault rifles need a bit more LM, um, LMGs MMGs you know need a bit more I've noticed the MMGs or you know machine guns they they, they, they don't do that much damage anymore and um, it takes a little more shots because I was in a tank I was using the turret and I've been getting nothing but hit markers and I'm gonna show you guys right now So that's what I meant, and I just, everything takes more shots now, let's just put it like that. And you know, I heard some comments that people were like, oh, you know, this change wasn't that bad, uh, you know, I kind of like it. I mean, yeah, there's some little small things that were good, but the way I see it, it's this difference between what's on paper and then what's actually happening in the game. So. The way I see it, if you're using an easy weapon, if, you're, if your gun is, if your main weapons are easy to use, require no skill at all, you can you know get shots like nothing, like say for example the Tommy gun or the STG, you know, you probably have a slight, uh, it probably was slightly reduced in damage, slightly, it probably took a slight hit, and it's probably just working like, like nothing ever happened, you know. But if you're using weapons that do require a bit of skill, then it's already to say you're gonna have to add a little bit more skill to the skill you're already adding. So everything just takes a bit more um, shots. So easy weapons, probably less easy now, a little bit less. But weapons that do require skill need a bit more skill now. So I'm just saying, that, that, that's the way I see it. So overall in this patch, guys, I have to say, mm, this patch really just, uh, I don't know man, it, 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 wasn't the, it wasn't really a good one, the way they rearranged the TTK and, you know, I get what they're trying to do with certain weapons, but not all weapons should be changed like that, you know, and also pretty much weapons that have like a uh, low ammo count, depending on where they're at, they're gonna need, like if they need any more hits now, you're probably gonna end up using the whole clip, especially like the M1 Grand only has like 9 rounds. You're probably gonna be you end up using the whole those whole nine rounds in that clip to get like at least uh, two kills. Uh, I don't know, man. So I don't know what, what they were going with this patch, um, but that's just me. You know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. But um, other than that, guys, that's all I have to say. Thank you much, so much for watching. If you guys like the video, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody. Knocked out, I knocked him out. Kicked okay, him cool. In. Cool. You should be good now. The All enemy right. right there. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Target has been killed. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> get it down, get it. I'm getting it. I'm going to kill this. Fuck, they got me over. Get already. outplayed by.